So you've bought one of these lovely air trays. Let's fit it to your bike. Right, if you're using the standard velocity stacks, just get them. There'll be holes there. Pop it into the tray. Turn it around, line the holes up. Pop one screw in. Just it up a little bit of the way so it still moves a bit. Pop the other one in. These only need to be nipped up, you know, there's no need to do them up really tight so you're crushing the carbon and making it creak. Make sure they're nipped up is fine. No need for the O-ring because the, the foam backing seals to the throttle bodies. So then you just do the other one and then it's ready to fit to the bike. Alright, the air tray I'm fitting to my bike has got 57mm throttle bodies on. So I'm fitting my own carbon stacks with them. So the air tray looks like this, it just doesn't have the two middle bolts fitted. Alright, dead easy. Get your air tray, pop the scoop bit in the front, get the rest, just line it up on the throttle bodies a little bit. Might take a bit of fiddling and a bit of jiggling around a bit. You just start the derm up with your fingers. There we go, get your four mil Allen key. Down, down, just so they touch the carbon to start with. You know, have to push the tray down a bit with one hand, but they really are easy to fit. There you go, jiggle it so it's just in place, snip it up a little bit. Then you still move the tray, get your velocity stacks, pop them in there, and then middle bolt with a carbon tube underneath it goes between the tray and the stack just saves uh, crushing the velocity stacks no need to them up too tight there you go again just do that up just a couple of turns to get it started right and then there's really no no need to do these up too tight just enough to Feel it nip. Yeah, if you want to use a torque wrench, you can and do it to about five foot pounds. But I don't because you know, I'll put on so many of these, stir them up till I feel tight. There's no need to start bending the carbon because the foam will seal against the bottom anyway or against the throttle bodies. There we go. That's that bit done. Um, oh no, hang on, let's put the air filter on, shall we? <laughs> right. Now, obviously, you have the washers. You'll have one with a large washer that goes over the big hole in the air filter, and the little one goes in the little side. 5mm Allen key. Just spin it on that side uh, again there's no need to do these up really tight um, you just do it until the foam makes contact with the air tray All right you can see there how the foam is just making contact with the uh, air tray um, if you do it up too tight it will start to to make the air filter go in a U shape, but you can see there where it's just starting to go in a U and the foam isn't quite in contact with the air tray, that's too tight. So then all what you need to do is just back it off a couple of turns just so it sits flush again. Right and then finally you just need to pop the breather pipe back onto the rear head and then you just need to pop the tank back down. Enjoy the noise. Thanks for watching. Right, so if you're doing a Gen 2 air tray, take the foam out of this side and fix the uh, sensor in the holes provided with the bolts and underneath and on this side, there's one on the top there and it goes round the breather pipe like that 